guys, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about Bella Thorne getting hacked and her posting her own nudes. I wanna talk about this for two main reasons. One of them is that getting any of my stuff hacked scares the hell out of me. I don't have nudes to be stolen, but just the idea that any of my private information could be taken and posted online is terrifying. And the other thing is just to raise a little bit of awareness because I know that people tend to feel a little bit of a sense of invincibility with their phone. Like you think as long as you have it on you, you're good, like nobody can take your stuff. But I think we forget how vulnerable we really are to being hacked, which can make people a little bit anxious and paranoid when you first think about it. But there are precautions you can take in order to stay as safe as possible. So today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. So VPNs allow you to send and receive data across shared public networks as if your device were directly connected to a private network. The bottom line is that your information is secured. Right now, NordVPN has an offer where you get 75% off a three-year plan. So that would be $2.99 a month for 36 months. Go to nordvpn.com slash ready to glare. That's N-O-R-D-V-P-N dot com slash r-e-a-d-y-t-o-g-l-a-r-e -E. and for a short time you can get an extra month for free by using my code ready to glare as some of you may know i lived in china for three years and while i was there i understood the importance of vpns not only to protect myself from hacking but also because vpns allow you to browse the internet as if you're in a different country this gives you access to potentially blocked content and especially now with article 13 passing in the eu some content will be mistakenly blocked and you won't be able to see it unless you have a VPN, such as NordVPN. NordVPN has thousands of servers in over 61 different countries, as well as 24 seven customer support to make sure they can help you at any time. To get 75% off a three year plan, go to nordvpn.com slash ready to glare. That's nordvpn.com slash R-E-A-D-Y-T-O-G-L-A-R-E. And for an extra free month, use my code ready to glare. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And now let's get right into the topic. So there's this article by Maxim that kind of just gives you the rundown and then we'll get into my opinion and all that. Someone tried to blackmail Bella Thorne with new photos, so she posted them first. Bella Thorne just struck a blow against creepy online hackers everywhere in a bold move that she hopes will empower other women. The wild child actress and newbie memoirist uploaded numerous topless photos of herself to her social media channel after an unidentified hacker tried to blackmail and threaten her with them. In a statement, Thorne said the hacker was able to gain access to her smartphone and the FBI is currently zeroing in on the hacker's identity. So then it mentions what she says on Twitter, but I'm just gonna read that directly from Twitter. And it's actually kind of funny because when this picture first was posted on Instagram, I had no idea that she'd been hacked and like why she was posting this picture because honestly she posts similar-ish pictures. So I just had no idea what was going on until I went on Twitter and then found out. So it was actually a big shock because I'm used to seeing people half naked on Instagram, aren't we all? So she tweeted, fuck you and the power you think you may have over me. I'm gonna write about this in my next book. So she posts two screenshots of her conversation with the hacker and a screenshot of her statement. I'll read the statement and then I'll show some of the text because I don't wanna get age restricted. Yesterday, as you all know, my shit was hacked. For the last 24 hours, I've been threatened with my own nudes. I feel gross, I feel watched. I feel someone has taken something from me that I only wanted one special person to see. He has sent me multiple nude photos of other celebs. He won't stop with me or them. He will just keep going. For too long, I let a man take advantage of me over and over and I'm fucking sick of it. I'm putting this out because it's my decision. Now you don't get to take yet another thing from me. I can sleep tonight better knowing I took my power back. You can't control my life. You never will. Here's the photos he's been threatening me with. In other words, here's my boobies. So here, fuck you. In the last 24 hours, I've been crying instead of celebrating my book while doing my book press. Oh yeah, the FBI will be at your house shortly. So watch your motherfucking back. So honestly, I think this was a badass move because that is bold to just post your own stuff. But at the same time, I just feel like you don't really have that much of an option because even if you propose to give them money, you don't know that they're not gonna post it tomorrow or in a month or in a year, they still have that stuff. And there's no way for you to know that they didn't back it up somewhere else or email it to themselves or email it to other people. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a situation where it's a lose-lose. Like the pictures will eventually come out no matter what. So then in the screenshots, someone said, where are you at shaking my head? Yo, Bella. And then Bella said, feels weird. Someone I don't know looking at my personal shit. The person sent screenshots of the videos and pictures and the person said, got all the videos. Honestly, the idea that someone has not only pictures, but like very explicit videos, that would scare the shit out of me, honestly. 
And like I said, I don't have any to be stolen, but the sole idea of someone that I don't know, just looking at the stuff and collecting it is not only vile, but just genuinely creepy. It gives me the same kind of creepy feeling as like stalkers or serial killers where they just have these folders of, you know, them watching someone and them looking through their personal belongings. And I'm not saying this is the same as being a serial killer, but it just gives me that like uncomfortable, creeped out sensation. So I'm gonna go in further about my opinion about all of this. But before that, when I was looking into the story, it turns out that Whoopi Goldberg had something to say about it. And I was actually kind of surprised, but then again, I never watched The View, so I don't know her point of view on anything. Whoopi Goldberg seemingly blames Bella Thorne over nude photo leak. You cannot be surprised someone hacked you. So it gives you a little bit of the rundown about what happened. Happened, and it says, The View co-host Whoopi Goldberg expressed little sympathy for the star on Monday's episode, effectively blaming Thorne for putting herself in a position to be attacked in the first place. If you're famous, I don't care how old you are, you don't take nude photos of yourself, she said. I'll get into it a little bit more, but I do think that there are a lot of parallels that can be drawn with Whoopi's argument. And none of these parallels are identical because obviously it's not the same exact situation, but I feel like what she's doing is a little bit similar to saying that if you have money in your wallet and your wallet is visible in your pocket and someone takes your money or your wallet or both, then it's your fault for having it on you in the first place. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but it kind of feels a little bit like that. You know, with the wallet situation, someone could be like, oh, well, you should have taken an extra precaution and put that in your front pocket or put it in a bag that, you know, you can monitor. And while that's true, yes, there's always something you can do to take better precautions. It doesn't automatically make it your fault either, in my opinion, which is why I'm in the middle, because I definitely can see that there are precautions that could have been taken. But at the same time, if it's your property, it's your property and nobody has the right to take that. So when they do take it, I don't think we should resort to being like, oh, well, that's on you. You know what I mean? Fellow panelist Sunny Hostin, Hostin, like I said, never watched the show, disagreed with Goldberg position. It just saddens me that these kids have to go through this, she said. For someone to extort her or threaten her with posting these pictures, it's terrible. Then Goldberg doubled down and said, once you take that picture, it goes to the cloud and it's available to any hacker who wants it. And if you don't know that in 2019, this is an issue. I'm sorry, you don't get to do that, she said. Like I said, I can definitely see Whoopi's point, don't take those pictures, which I think is a bit of an oversimplification because Nudes have been taken for a very long time, whether it's on a phone or not. And even if it's not on a phone, it can fall into the wrong hands. So I do think it's the easiest solution is don't take nudes. It's also like the easiest solution to not get pregnant is to not have sex at all, you know? And it's just kind of like, well, it's not, it doesn't have to be one or the other. There are middle grounds you can take. I definitely think there are things that Bella could have done to protect herself because yes, she is a celebrity. And in the past, this has happened to celebrities. Yes, there are other things she could have done to protect herself. But like I said before, if it's your property, it's your property. So it shouldn't be taken regardless. The thing that genuinely weirds me out is just that Goldberg seems to be so unempathetic. Like even if, taking Goldberg's perspective, okay? Even if Goldberg says, okay, Bella fucked up, you can still feel bad for someone going through something, even if they fucked up. Like there are plenty of times where my friends have made a mistake and I can still say, oh, that really fucking sucks while still realizing it's their fault. So it's kind of surprising to me that she doesn't show any sign of empathy, at least according to this article, because I mean, you can still acknowledge that. I don't see the problem. So in the article, they show a couple of the responses that are both in favor of what Goldberg said and against. So some people say, whatever floats her boat, a great way to stop some nut job from profiting off them. She should have pulled an Angelina Jolie and auctioned them off to the highest bidder. Someone else said, I'm with Whoopi on this one. It's 2019 and unless you've been living under a rock, it's impossible not to know the dangers of sharing naked photos of yourself with anyone. Just don't do it. Which like I said, I can definitely see that point. Yeah, and some people were just like, life lesson, don't take nudes or don't have nude photos of yourself in a place where they can be stolen electronically and you have nothing to worry about. Once it's on the internet, you can never get them back, which like I said, is true. And so really I kind of am in the middle because I can see both sides to this. I definitely don't blame Bella though. And I think that she did what she could do in that situation. Like I said, it's essentially a lose-lose. So I think she did probably the best thing possible aside from auctioning them off to the highest bidder. That would have been a badass move also. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think the simple solution is not to take nudes? Do you think there's a middle ground precaution? Let me know where you guys stand. Thank you again so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.